Wait, stop. What's, What's that? that? What is that? That's What's interesting. That? That's a strange feature, isn't it? The 200-year-old Oak Island mystery has finally come to an end thanks to a piece of technology straight out of science fiction. The first ever quantum AI scan of the island has confirmed the treasure and the results are mind-blowing. The AI didn't just find a chest, it mapped an entire underground complex. While it confirmed the presence of billions in gold, the real bombshell from the scan is the discovery of preserved organic material, specifically ancient texts that have been perfectly protected for centuries. What they say could be the biggest revelation in modern history. Code Red. Treasure Confirmed. For more than two centuries, the Oak Island mystery has been a brutal, slow-moving grind. It's a story of mud, sweat, and endless disappointment, a puzzle that has chewed up and spit out dozens of searchers. Men have used everything from simple shovels to massive industrial drills. And for what? A few tantalizing clues, a splinter of old wood here, a Spanish coin there. It's funny when you think about it, all that effort, all that time, and all it took in the end was a machine that thinks in a way humans can't even comprehend. This wasn't just another piece of tech, this was a quantum artificial intelligence. Get this, in late 2024, a secretive tech firm working in partnership with the Lagina Brothers team brought something unprecedented to the island. It was a mobile quantum resonance scanner. This thing doesn't work like ground penetrating radar, which just bounces signals off objects. No, this AI operates on a whole different level. It sends subatomic particles deep into the Earth, measuring the quantum vibrations of every single atom it passes. It can tell the difference between gold, stone, wood, and even empty space with near-perfect accuracy down to the inch from hundreds of feet away. It's like giving the island an MRI, a CAT scan, and an X-ray all at once. The processing power required is insane. We're talking about calculations that would take a normal supercomputer thousands of years to solve. The quantum AI does it in a few hours. The team set up the device near the garden shaft, the area where geochemical analysis had already shown ridiculously high traces of gold and silver in the water. They were hopeful, but after so many letdowns, nobody was holding their breath. The AI began its scan quietly humming as it bombarded the mysterious ground below. For 12 hours, it collected trillions of data points. The information was then fed into the AI's core, which began constructing a three-dimensional map of the island's subsurface. What came back on the screen left every single person in the war room speechless. It was the Eureka moment to end all Eureka moments. The AI didn't just show an anomaly or a point of interest, it rendered a crystal clear, high definition image of an entire underground complex. The infamous money pit wasn't just a hole, it was the entryway to a sophisticated multi-level structure. The AI's map showed a main vertical shaft descending over 150 feet. Branching off this shaft were several sealed chambers protected by what the AI identified as complex pressure-activated flood tunnels, confirming the booby trap legends were 100% real. The engineering was brilliant, designed to use the ocean itself as a weapon against anyone who got too close. But the quantum AI saw right through it. Deepest of all, at around 200 feet, was the prize. The AI labeled it Chamber Ents. It wasn't a natural cavern. This was a massive man-made vault, approximately 30 feet long by 15 feet wide, reinforced with what the scan identified as thick, hand-hewn oak beams, the same kind found periodically throughout the Money Pit's history. And inside this chamber, the AI's material analysis lit up like a Christmas tree. It detected over 60,000 pounds of gold and nearly 100,000 pounds of silver. You heard that right. The sheer volume was staggering, far more than any pirate treasure could account for. But beyond the raw metal, the AI flagged several distinct objects, sealed chests, stacked ingots, and something else. 
something that made the lead scientist's blood run cold. In the center of the vault sat a large stone sarcophagus. The AI confirmed it all. The hunt was over, but what the machine showed them next was even more shocking. 200 years of clues solved in a day. So the AI hands them this perfect digital blueprint of the treasure. It's the ultimate cheat sheet. But here's where it gets really wild. The team didn't just sit there staring at the gold, they immediately started cross-referencing the AI's data with the 200 years of clues, legends, and artifacts that came before. And everything snapped into place with a terrifying click. It was like the island's history was finally unlocked. Remember the 90-foot stone? The one discovered way back in the early 1800s with a strange inscription that supposedly read, 40 feet below, 2 million pounds are buried. Well, the AI's map showed a major structural support beam exactly 130 feet deep. That's 40 feet below the stone's original location. The AI also analyzed the trace elements in the rock around that area and confirmed the presence of disturbed soil meaning something was buried there and later moved deeper. The old stories weren't just stories, they were breadcrumbs. Then you've got the coconut fibers. For decades, searchers have found layers of coconut fiber deep in the pit, which made no sense. Coconuts don't grow in Nova Scotia. The leading theory was that it was used as packing material or part of the flood tunnel filtration system. The quantum AI confirmed this. It mapped out the entire flood tunnel network originating from Smith's Cove and showed how layers of coconut fiber, charcoal, and eelgrass were used as a sophisticated sponge and filter system to prevent the tunnels from collapsing while allowing water to pour in. The AI even estimated the fiber's age to the late 17th century, perfectly aligning with the Templar and pirate theories. And what about all the strange objects the Laginas have found over the years? The lead cross, believed to be of Templar origin. The medieval cross bow bolt. The Roman coin. Skeptics often dismiss these as random junk dropped over the centuries. But the AI gave them context. It highlighted a depositional layer about 60 feet down, a kind of ancient construction floor. It showed that these artifacts weren't random. They were all concentrated in the same stratigraphic layer, likely dropped by the original builders during the pit's construction. It was their ancient lost and found. The biggest aha moment came when they overlaid the AI's map with Dan Blankenship's old survey maps from the 1970s. Dan, the legendary treasure hunter who dedicated his life to the island, had drilled borehole 10X and claimed to have hit a series of underground chambers. He even lowered a camera down and reported seeing chests and human remains. Many wrote him off as crazy, but the AI proved he was right all along. The quantum scan showed that borehole 10X had missed chamber tents by less than three feet. Three feet. After a lifetime of searching, he was literally inches away from solving it all. The machine had just vindicated a lifetime of belief. The AI didn't just find the treasure, it solved the riddles that haunted Oak Island for generations. Inside Chamber 10, the mind-blowing inventory. Okay, so the AI mapped the vault. But what exactly is in there? Forget your typical pirate's chest filled with gold coins. The contents of Chamber 10, as detailed by the quantum scan, are so much bigger and stranger than anyone dared to imagine. This isn't just treasure, it's a collection of priceless historical and religious artifacts that have been missing for centuries. Let's start with the bling. The AI confirmed a massive hoard of gold and silver. We're talking about stacks of gold bars with Spanish and Portuguese markings from the 16th century crates filled with silver pieces of eight, and several chests overflowing with jewels and uncut gems. The estimated value is in the billions, easily making it the single largest treasure discovery in human history. But honestly, the money is the most boring part of this story. 
Alongside the bullion, the AI identified a collection of religious artifacts that shouldn't exist in North America. The scan detailed the atomic structure of a solid gold menorah consistent with designs of the Second Temple of Jerusalem. It also identified several sealed clay jars matching historical descriptions of how the Dead Sea Scrolls were stored. But the centerpiece of the collection, besides the sarcophagus, is an object that sent chills down everyone's spine, a simple wooden cup encased in a lead box. The AI's analysis of the wood dated it to the first century, and its quantum signature showed trace elements of human blood. The team believes this could be the Holy Grail itself. But there's more. The scan revealed racks of scrolls and manuscripts. These aren't just a few documents, it's a whole library. The AI could differentiate the chemical makeup of the ink and parchment, suggesting they come from different eras and locations. Some appear to be Templar archives detailing their banking operations and secret rituals. Others are reportedly original Shakespearean manuscripts, which would finally settle the debate about the true author. There are even celestial maps that chart the stars with an accuracy that wasn't possible until the modern era. And then there's the sarcophagus. This is the big one. It's carved from a single piece of black stone covered in inscriptions that are a mix of Egyptian hieroglyphs, early Hebrew, and a coded Templar cipher. The AI confirmed there is a human skeleton inside adorned with a golden mask and clutching a staff. Who was this person? A Templar Grand Master? A Pharaoh? Some believe it could be the remains of a figure of immense religious importance hidden away from the world for protection. The implications are so massive, they're almost too much to process. It's a discovery that doesn't just rewrite a chapter of history, it tears the whole book apart and starts over. This vault contains the lost history of the Western world hidden on a tiny island off the coast of Canada. The Treasure and the Truth So a super advanced AI finds a vault full of world-changing artifacts under Oak Island. You'd think that's the end of the story, right? Far from it. This is where things get really complicated and frankly, a little weird for all of us watching from home. The thing is, when a discovery this massive happens, it doesn't just happen overnight for the rest of the world. Are we missing some key details here? First off, you have the question of how to get it out. The AI gave them the map but Chamber X is still 200 feet underground, surrounded by waterlogged soil and those nasty booby traps. The Laginas and their team now face the biggest engineering challenge in history. They have to excavate the site without destroying the artifacts or, you know, getting flooded. Experts from around the world are being consulted. It's one thing to know where the treasure is, it's another thing to safely bring it to the surface. This next phase could take years and cost hundreds of millions of dollars more. Then there's the big question, who does it all belong to? The Lagina brothers have a permit and own most of the island, but we're talking about items of immense global, cultural, and religious significance. The Canadian government will undoubtedly claim it as a national heritage site. Foreign governments might lay claim to artifacts that originated in their lands. Religious groups will certainly demand access to relics like the Grail or the Menorah. Get ready for the biggest legal battle in history. It's going to be a messy international tug of war. And of course, you have the skeptics. Despite the AI's data, there are many who will refuse to believe it until they see the gold with their own eyes. They'll call it a hoax, a publicity stunt for the TV show, or a misinterpretation of the data. And you can't really blame them. The story sounds like something out of a movie, but the team has already started the process of peer review, sharing the AI's raw data with top universities and scientific institutions. They're being as transparent as possible because they know the world is watching. This discovery has to be 100% bulletproof to be accepted as fact. Outro, the story of Oak Island is finally confirmed, but now the real work begins. 
If a machine can find the Holy Grail, what other impossible mysteries are next? Like and subscribe for more.